How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is a new series I'm trying to start on my channel. I'm curious if you guys want to see more of these in the future But I'm gonna start trying to do player reviews on certain cards uh, that come out All right, so this card has been out for a little while now But I've, I've had this video idea for a while and I decided you know I'm gonna finally just put it together uh, I don't know how long I should make these videos how much really detail I should go into uh, it just depends you guys let me know for sure but uh, right now we're gonna go over some content though actually that has come out in hot right now uh, October 27th 2020 it is a Tuesday and 88 primetime Sydney Crosby has come out okay now that is a super good card for many reasons the biggest reason is he is distributor as well so that's a very very good synergy to have on Sydney Crosby as well in the Subban 85 Anderson Smith Schmidt LeBanc Roussel, Verhage, Kako, Reader, Petrovic, and so Susi. I don't even know. That's his name. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get into this play review now. And it is going to be Primetime 86 Taylor Hall. Okay. So Taylor Hall is a very, very fun card to use. Uh, so far, I've had him for 79 games played. And uh, he's almost goal per game. Now, we do know in this game, a lot of goals do end up in the net, of course. I mean, we, we just obviously know that. Uh, just by the fact that, uh, you know, Crosby's are very OP right now. So Taylor Hall obviously is going to get a lot of goals from me. He's on my first line. He used to be on my second, but uh, he's a fun, fun card to use uh, in many ways. Uh, so there's some things I really want to mention about Taylor Hall. Uh, he's, his speed is something that I really noticed the most. Uh, probably the fastest card I've used in the game so far besides Lafleur. Uh, and that's again, he doesn't even have like a distributor active or anything like that. 91 speed, he feels really, really good. Um, that's one thing I'd say about Hall. Hall's defensive game is always an issue though, I'd say. Uh, Taylor Hall's defensive game is, you know, it's not really uh, in a good spot. Just like it is in real life, it's really not a good spot in real life. Hall's not a very defensive player, that's why he's a winger. He definitely doesn't play like penalty kill or something like that. Uh, he definitely, you know, not, not in the greatest spots defensively sometimes, so... You know, that's something you have to understand, you have to kind of live with, but, you know, w when you get so much offense from this card, uh, that's that's all, that's all really the reason you're buying it, that, that's for sure. Thing is, of course, uh, as time goes, cards do go down in value, right? So, uh, 86 Hall, yeah, it goes for a lot right now, but in a month when 87 Hall comes out, you know, it'll be cheaper, of course, but that's just how it goes, that's just how it goes. I mean, Hall is uh, a great card. Uh, another thing I want to really also mention is his shot is really, really good. I'm um, a big fan of his shot. Uh, I feel like every time he gets a one-timer, it's, it's in every single time. He scores one-timers from the right side all the time. Even some, some very deep out shots. You'll even see some of the clips coming up. He scores a lot of really, really nice goals. And just, again, his speed is something that I really, really notice. He's just really, really a fast, fun card to use. Uh, he's basically, I would say he's a, a little bit of a mini Dylan Larkin in terms of, like, you know, speed-wise. Uh, he's really fast. Uh, but he's definitely better than Mark in general. I mean, he's just a really, really fun card to use. So, like I said, in 79 games played, he has 72 goals and 52 assists, guys. Uh, that is a very, very, very good stat line right there. Um, you know, many points over 500, of course, uh, to be exact. Uh, that would be simply 124 points total. Uh, yeah, he, he gets it done, certainly, to say the least. Uh, Taylor Hall, uh, the one thing I also would say about Taylor Hall, uh, his wrist shot isn't that amazing. Uh, yeah, I know the synergy boosts it, but I don't really feel like I snipe a lot with Taylor Hall. Again, I feel like his slap shot is really what impresses me. Uh, I would say, I, I, I took a, a slap shot actually today as well, in game with him. It just went bar down on the right side. So, I mean, that's really one of the bigger things I'd say is his, his slap shot really the best. His speed and his slap shot. So, uh, you know how people used to do this back in the day, Game on Your Face, Famox used to be his name. Uh, he would do a breakdown and he would put, you know, the skating, 1 out of one to 10, of course, the shooting, 1 to 10, you know, the, the stick handling, stuff like that. Uh, so, pretty much what I have for Taylor Hall uh, right now is going to be uh, his skating, I would say right now it's a 9 out of 10. I, I don't, I, I feel like uh, you could argue that it's maybe 8, but you could even argue that it's 10, that's the thing. Like, he is very, very, very good. Let me tell you that right now. Um, his speed is something that I really, you know, think is, is the biggest part on this. So his skating, I would put as a 9. Uh, I would say for his puck skills, like his puck control, uh, I would say mm, that would probably be also in the 8 category. Uh, he really maneuvers the puck very well. 
Uh, I don't really find it many times where he just loses the puck on stuff. He's just very strong in the puck. Uh, for his overall shooting, I would say it's probably at a seven. Uh, it's it's a card that, yeah, I mean, it gets some good, you know, he gets some goals. But, like, again, mostly on the slap shot, of course. Uh, I know he's 72 goals in 79 games. Don't get me wrong, that's ridiculous. Uh, but I feel like most of the time it's just some, it's easy uh, backdoor one-timer goals. So, for the most part, yeah, he's a missing net often. But Taylor Hall does have opportunities where it's, you know, pretty much a slam dunk, right? All right, so... Then we also have his physical ability. Like I said, it's pretty hard to knock him off the puck, I feel like. Uh, I would put him at 6, though, because, I mean, like, you know, it's not like he's 6'8", uh, and he's literally, you know, unhittable. He definitely is hittable, but um, I'm trying to have a saber Taylor Hall when it comes to uh, his physical and his defensive ability, as I said before. A little bit of a reliability. Uh, he's not going to be stunning you with so many crazy good interceptions and all that. Uh, he definitely will uh, not always be in the correct area. Uh, but again, you're not getting Taylor Hall, the left winger, to be a top penalty killer for you. You're getting him to score goals, to be an offensive player, and that's really what Taylor Hall mostly is. And he's going to just be always providing that offense for you. Uh, and overall, I would say this card right here, I would give it a rating of probably... <sighs> it's a tough one, of course. I would say Taylor Hall, 86 overall. We do a percentage, we do a grade, we're going to do a 80%. Uh, very, very, car very good card. That was a B minus right there uh, for those scoring at home. Honestly, a card that I definitely really enjoy using. I don't really plan to get rid of uh, for the foreseeable future. He's just fantastic to use right now in game, right? Speaking of in game, let's get some in game clips from him. He scored a lot of goals here and just been a really, really fun card to use. Uh, and a big reason for why I've had success in the game uh, at points this year because it's been hard, but you know, we've had some nice moments. And here's Taylor Hall putting up some nice ones. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, if you're new to the channel here. If you want more of these in the future, let me know. I can do other cards on my team. Uh, right now on my team, I have Gretzky, I have Marenz, McDavid. Uh, I, I think a Gretzky one would be, probably be a good idea as well. Would you guys be down for a Gretzky review? Uh, McDavid, Solani, any cards. I mean, I could really do this. I mean, I, I have no problem. It doesn't really take too much time as well. You get some good gameplay uh, highlights with them. And, uh, you know, give my, my formal opinion on them, right? So, uh, that's pretty much it. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, if you're new to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's. Join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you all in the next video.